So I'm doing my extra credit report on environmental issues in information systems and technology, primarily improperly discarding of old and useless technology. When people prop improperly discard technology, they simply throw it away um, instead of properly recycling it, um, any electronics, old electronics that they have, and this causes electronic waste. And this is anything from old computers to PDAs to cell phones to computer monitors, pretty much any electronic that you throw away. And with the rapid rate of technology growth, electronics become obsolete very fast. This means that you always want the new iPhone, you always want a new computer, and the average lifespan of a computer is only two years. So as you can see, this is very quick and people are always getting new technology and thus throwing away old technology. Improperly discarded electronic waste or e-waste can cause many harmful things for the environment. Um, all electronics contain many harmful chemicals. Um, there's cadmium, which is found in computer batteries and circuit boards. Lead found in most computer monitors, whether they are CRT monitors or flat screen monitors. And mercury, which is found in most electronic equipment and is the leading source of mercury in landfills. So as you can see, there are many harmful chemicals in pretty much all electronic devices. And the environmental impacts this can have is that it can seep into soil and water. Um, it can kind of taint the soil and make it unusable for later on if people want to grow something. It'll just uh, damage the quality of the soil. And it can also affect our drinking water in the next 10 to 20 years if we're not careful. These um, chemicals can go into our drinking water and make it harmful for everybody. Um, this electronic waste can also take up valuable landfill space, um, which is used for other trash and materials that is not as easily recycled. And the space is very valuable and it just takes up that space. So some solutions for this is to recycle electronic waste properly. Uh, many companies such as Dell, HP, and Gateway have programs to pick up your old computers and have them recycled properly. Uh, you just have to fill out a form online and then a representative will come to your house or business and pick up your old technology, old computers, whatever you have, uh, so they can be recycled properly. There are also other companies and electronic recycle locations that you can do this yourself. You can safely give them discard your electronics to them. And with this link provided, uh, erecycle.org, um, you can search for a location near you where you can recycle old electronics. Another solution is you can buy environmentally friendly electronics. I know Dell and HP have been starting to make environmentally friendly computers, which not only save energy, but they use less chemicals such as cadmium and lead. So this makes it safer. This makes it that when people inevitably do improperly discard of their electronics that it won't hurt the environment as much. Another solution is to reduce the amount of electronics you recycle. Um, if you buy longer lasting electronics instead of cheaply made ones, you can um, elongate the life of them and you won't have to recycle them nearly as often. If you buy a computer monitor that will last for maybe six or seven years instead of one that will last for two, you'll save a lot of time in not having to recycle uh, computer monitors constantly. Um, what you can also do is reuse electronics. You can donate them to a uh, family or different organizations. Say you have a younger cousin that's maybe just getting into computers. You can give him your old computer and he'll be happy with it. Or there are many nonprofit organizations which you can give your old electronics to and they'd be happy to help you with it. Um, it'll reduce the amount and frequency of electronic waste. People won't be um, discarding them nearly as frequently. They'll be reusing them and it'll help out the environment a lot. Just some things for the future of electronic recycling. Um, currently, the United States only recycles 10% of its electronic waste. And a lot of this is because there are no federal or national laws to enforce this. Um, there are many state and local laws that in many places in the country that enforce electronic recycling, um, but it's not on the national level. And so it really is up to the consumer to take the initiative to recycle their electronics properly so that it won't continue to harm the environment. Um, proper recycling of electronic waste means not only a healthier environment, but a healthier living conditions. When you're not hurting the soil, when you're not hurting the water, when you're not taking up space, when you're um, recycling these things properly, it'll help everyone. So that is my report on the environmental effects of improperly discarding old and useless technology and some solutions for the future that can hopefully help to um, alleviate this and make the environment a lot better.